exercise Valiant Shield is currently underway on and around Guam, bringing together more than 18,000 sailors, airmen, and Marines. Service members work in a joint environment to detect, track, and engage units at sea, in the air, and on land in response to a wide range of missions. As part of the exercise, B-1 Lancers and Marine F-18s demonstrated the integration of GPS-guided munitions with existing Quick Strike Mine capability. Uh, the Quick Strike J is a guided version of the Quick Strike Mine uh, using the JDAM tail kit and the components from the Quick Strike, which is already in the inventory. Yeah, so the mission went well. We, uh, we were able to get off uh, the weapons required to complete the mission. So that was good, and uh, we were able to uh, get all the recording of the data that we needed for the demonstration. Uh, so uh, overall, it was mission success, uh, just a, a great day for us flying. The mines were dropped at a bombing range 100 miles north of Guam, where Navy divers will be retrieving the mines from the water. This new capability allows the aircraft to drop from a higher altitude, improving safety and effectiveness. So it provides our, the PACOM planners, as well as uh, for contingencies, uh, the opportunity to uh, really achieve uh, effects that we wouldn't be able to otherwise. Reporting from Anderson Air Force Base, Guam, I'm Staff Sergeant Mariko Frazee.